Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary... Craps. To get this gun, you will need the Handsome Jackpot DLC. Now, this gun can wall drop within a DLC, so you could kill a random enemy and find this. Luckily, it does have a source, so if you do want to farm this, you'll have to farm the boss Jackpot. They can be found over at the VIP tower. So yeah, let's head over and get the gun. Alright, so what you want to do is head over to the VIP tower, and you're going to head all the way to the end of the map. So go to the end and go up the elevator, and uh, yeah, we're going to be taking on Jackpot today. So I'll head over and I'll meet you guys when I get there. On your way over, you will hit this save right here, so that when you save quit, you're going to spawn right there. And that's going to make it a much shorter walk to the boss. Let's do it. I got him. Alright, first run maybe? Nope, we did not get it. So I will keep farming and get the drop. Yeah, the final phase is pretty weak. Quite a few things here. Alright, did we get it? Mm. Yep, there it is right there. Where's it at? There you are. Gratifying craps. Damage, really high. Accuracy, fair. Handling, mid-tier. Reload time, fair. Fire rate, pretty good for a Torg pistol. And mag size, 8. Red text is, oh me. Bonus, weapon damage and splash damage radius. At the bottom, stuck gyro jets increase damage by 7% each. Alright, the gun looks pretty good. Um, It's silver and it has a stripe and star. It definitely looks like a Torg. Yeah, I like it. So with this gun, you're basically rolling the dice, kind of like the game crafts. So normally you're going to have one pallet, but randomly you will get five. Like right there. It does have a sticky mode too. Um, it might actually make it a little bit easier to see. So one. Yeah, give me the five. There it is. And when you reload or swap your firing mode, they will all blow up. Okay, so we're on Mayhem 4 and the modifiers are neutral. Uh, let's go ahead and do our terror, part of my build. And we'll start with impact mode. So impact mode is not too bad. It's getting it done. So it also looks like the more you hit enemies, the more chances you have for the five burst. Yeah, because it's happening quite often now. Like right now. Yeah, five burst, five burst, five burst. This thing is doing work. Wow. Also, the five burst will actually travel a little bit slower, as you can see here. And they kind of spread out too. These poor, poor enemies. Okay, self damage too. I always do that. Don't do that. Let me try the sticky mode. Let me stick you up. Uh, that should probably be good, right? Oh, yeah. Not bad at all. I should have mentioned it before, but this can come in different elements, too. So, if I got myself a good fire one for these flesh enemies, we would be doing even more damage. You do have to click every shot. Um, you can't just hold down the trigger. So, keep that in mind. Now, it is a little bit blinding with all the explosions going on, but that is a perfectly fair trade-off for this kind of damage. All right. Final thoughts on the craps. It is a very strong weapon. It's really good for mobbing. Uh, for the normal enemies, you know, use impact mode. And for the tougher enemies, use sticky mode. Now, I'm pretty sure this would also work pretty well for bossing, but you probably want to match the elemental weakness. You know, like fire for flesh or shock for shields. Overall, it's a good choice of a pistol, and yeah, I would say pick it up and try it for yourself, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.